Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install Mine Colonies in Minecraft 1.15.2. This is actually a pretty cool mod allowing you to basically build and like have interactive like towns and things like that. Basically like this right here in Minecraft. It sets everything up. It's got builders, crafters, farmers, fishermen, guards, miners, smelters, bakers. It's got so much stuff. It is absolutely incredible and um, it's, it's just a really, really cool mod. So I'm excited to get this one installed today. First and foremost though, we do have a much more sponsor which is Apex Minecraft. So you can check out Apex of the first link down below the breakdown that xyz to start an incredible 24-hour dnos protected minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy we actually love x so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so again if you're looking for a great server Apex Minecraft hosting is the way to go, and guess what? Mine Colonies can be installed on Apex Forge server quickly and easily for you and your friends to enjoy Mine Colonies together. But nevertheless, if you want a great Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft hosting. Check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. So the first thing we want to do is come here to this download page. This is going to be the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is the Mine Colonies official download page, and what you want to do is come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you see the Minecraft. 1.15 section here see that and then you want to come under that and find mine colonies and then when you find that you can click the little purple download button to the right of it there so that's going to go ahead and start the download after a few seconds now when it downloads we will need to keep the file in the bottom left so it downloads here we'll be able to see mine colonies in the bottom left as long as it says mine colonies in the title you are good to keep the file on Mozilla Firefox it's going to pop up in the center of your screen and you need to save the file there now this does have a compatibility mod and that compatibility mod is structurized basically that's going to allow those structures to appear and all that stuff so nevertheless once we're here what we want to do is again come over here to the right hand side scroll down until we see minecraft 1.15 there it is and then under that we want to find the most recent version there and click on that purple download button to the right of it then it's going to take us off here where well, the download will begin again after five seconds and again we will need to keep this in the bottom left as long as it has structure eyes in the title we are good to keep it now we're not done downloading just yet we still need to download forge forge is needed to install mine colonies and get everything up and running it's the mod loader to install the mod mine colony so we need to get this this is going to be the fourth link in the description down below and once you come here this is actually our tutorial on how to download and install forge we go really in depth with installing forge in this tutorial here this text tutorial as well as this tutorial up here however i am going to install forge in this video i'm just not going to go over every little thing that can go wrong when installing forge if you have an issue installing forge it's going to be answered in this article but nevertheless once you're here click on this green download forge button and it will take us off to forge's official website once we're here we want to make sure we have the minecraft 1.15.2 version of forge selected to see that it's going to be mc 1.15.2 here if you don't see that there, no worries. Click on the plus 1.15 button there, and then click on 1.15.2, and then here we go. Minecraft 1.15.2 will appear. Now what we want to do is come under Download Recommended and click on the Installer button there. Then that's going to take us off to Add Focus, where stop, you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop, don't click anything. Do not click a thing. Stop it. No, your download is not ready. It is lying to you. Do not click a single thing on this page. All you want to do is wait six seconds, and then in the top right up here, you'll see this red skip button up here. Click on that red skip button, and it will download in the bottom left. Now, as long as this has Forge in the title, which as we can see, it does have Forge in the title there, we are safe to keep the file. On Mozilla Firefox, same thing, it's going to pop up in the center of your screen. It says Forge in the title. You're good to save the file. Now, if you did click anything else on this page, because, you know, we just it looks like your download would be in the center it's not it's in the red skip button in the top right it's the only thing you should click on this page but nevertheless if you didn't know where just don't save that download just save the download that says forge in the title and that you click on the skip button in the top right to get now once you've done that we can minimize our browser and here on my desktop i have mine colonies i have structure eyes and i have forge all downloaded and ready to go if these aren't on your desktop no worries they're going to be in your downloads folder and to find that click the little windows icon in the top left for me bottom left of your screen click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen and then type in downloads right like so and then have this downloads file folder click on that and then in here you will find these three mods or well two mods and mod loader drag them to your desktop just for ease of use now once these are on your desktop we're going to start off with forge so right click on forge click on open with and then you should have java here it might be called java tm platform etsy binary it might be called something else but it's just going to be java and then click on that and click ok now if you don't have java there in some way or if these aren't these java logos these little coffee cups here and instead they're like books or zip files don't worry about it, we have a solution. That solution is in the description down below. This is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods, etc. We're obviously installing Minecraft mods here, so this is what we need. 
But come here, this will teach you exactly how to get the correct version of Java for Minecraft. We have helped almost a million people get the right version of Java there. So come here, download Java, get that set up, get that installed, and then finally you should be able to open Forge. However, if you can't, no worries, we do have another solution, and that solution is the jar fix. Basically what this is going to do is make all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again. So after you've installed Java, if it's still not working, you need to download the jar fix and that'll fix you right on up. Now finally, we can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. Now we're going to have this mod system installer appear, where we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. This is going to go through, download, do everything that it needs to do in order to get Forge installed on your computer. It's going to take it a minute, and then it'll say this, successfully install Client Profile Forge, and might not say that exactly, but it'll say successful, right? And as soon as it says successfully installed, guess what? You're good. So go ahead and click OK. That'll close out. And now it's time to install Mine Colonies and the Structurize mod, which is the compatibility mod for Mine Colonies. So to do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, once you're in the Minecraft launcher, what you want to do is go to this little Windows or not little Windows icon. What am I even saying anymore? Sorry about that. When you're in the Minecraft launcher, what you want to do is go to this little arrow to the left of the play button and then click on the Forge profile. When you click on that, it should say 1.15.2-Forge under it. If it does, click play. But if it doesn't, if you don't have the Forge profile or if you do and it doesn't say 1.15.2 under it, no worries. Click on the Installations tab at the top of Minecraft. And then once you're here, what you want to do is click on this plus new button right here. See that plus new? Click on that. And then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible network Minecraft server. We have two awesome greed protected survival servers, Medieval Survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy and Aquatic Survival with MCMMO, a shash shop based economy, jobs. It is absolutely incredible. Then we do have custom skyblock as well with OP enchants, custom islands. It is a mighty fun time. And then last but not least, we do have factions coming very, very soon. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Over 150 players online every single day. But nevertheless, once you've got your name set there, we can click on this version drop down. And then in here, you will find release 1.15.2 forge. Now, if you have multiple ones like I do, just click the one closest to the top there. So click on that, and then you can go ahead and click the create button in the bottom right. When you click on that, down here at the bottom, I have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. It has 1.15.2-forge on it, and you can go ahead and click the green play button to open up Minecraft. Now, you might be wondering, why did we do that? Why did we go through all of that just to install two mods? Well, it's because you used to have to go through this whole complicated process of like opening up a program and typing in a code and everything to install mods. Now you don't have to do that. Now all you have to do is open up Minecraft with Forge, and then once you're in Minecraft with Forge, all you need to do to install mods is very, very simple. Click on the Mods tab. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. As you can see, Forge is in the bottom left. It's installed, and we have this Mods tab here. So click on the Mods tab there. And then once you're in the Mods tab, click on the Open Mods folder in the bottom left. So click on Open Mods folder there. And then you want to take Mine Colonies and Structurize, both of these here from your desktop, and drag them into this Mods folder. Once they're in this Mods folder, if we go back to Minecraft, they're not there. And that's because they're not supposed to be there. What we need to do is click on Done, and then Quit the Game. Now we need to open up the Minecraft launcher once again, except this time we don't have to worry about doing all that mess of creating a new installation or anything. Your installation should be, if you click the little arrow here, in this list. So click on either Forge or the one you created, in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com, and then click Play. Now, when this little preloader opens up for Forge here, right here, we'll be able to see Structurize and Mine Colonies, meaning the mods are there, they are recognized, and they are getting themselves ready, installed, and opening right on up with Minecraft. So pretty cool stuff there. Now, as you can see, Minecraft is opening up, and once it's on the main menu, we'll be able to confirm the mods are installed by clicking on the Mods tab. I'm also going to jump in game and obviously show you some stuff there as well. But here we are on the Minecraft main menu, where we can click on the Mods tab there, and we will see Structurize, which is the compatibility mod for Mine Colonies. There it is. As you can see, Mine Colonies is a colony town simulator that has structures, NPC workers, guards that you control put to work for you. So it's, it's really cool. It's based around a town hall and village. There's so much in this mod. I'm not going to be able to cover anywhere near all of it. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to really scratch the surface. But um, mine colonies. And then I'm going to go ahead and spawn in a creative just because that's easier. And then we're going to just switch this to, let's see, I was going to do large biomes, but I'll just leave it default. And then we'll go ahead and spawn right on in. So we have mine colonies installed at this point. The mod is up. The mod is working. So if you did enjoy this video, if you did get mine colonies from this video, you're like, I don't care about you looking at this mod, Nick. I don't care at all. Well, then, you know, whatever. I get it. But give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content every single day. But nevertheless, once we are in game here, I will show this mod off just a little bit. Now, if we're lucky, we're going to spawn 
in or near a colony, right? In or near one of these cities. That's always the best thing that we can do. But if, if we're not lucky, that is fine. Now, as you can see here, it did, did go non-responding. Don't worry about that. As you can see, it worked through it. So that's something I do wanna mention, especially if you're generating a new world with all these custom blocks and everything, it might go non-responding. And if it does, don't freak out, just let it work through it. So I'm not seeing any towns near us here. We seem to be in uh, quite the desert. That's sad, not desert, sorry, quite the desert area. But uh, I'm gonna fly around a bit. I'll do a quick little jump cut and see if I can find a mine colony some here. Oh, ooh, what is this? Is that just a pillager outpost or is that more? I think that is just a pillager outpost, sadly. Well, it's a cool seed. If you guys want the seed, there it is. It's a pretty cool seed if you ask me. However, um, not what we are looking for necessarily. So I'm gonna go ahead and find ourselves a colony. And then once we have a colony, we'll be able to kind of go from there. So I kind of failed on this one, everybody. I, I, I kind of um, kind of messed this one up. The mod's installed perfectly fine. No worries about that. But occasionally, when I uh, do a mod tutorial, I um, forget to read the documentation before the video, and then I get in the video, and I see, I, I could have swore that these towns were randomly generated, and then you would find a big town, and it would be that. I was wrong. That happens occasionally. I'm not perfect, everybody. However, um, the, uh, the, 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 the one thing, the one thing that um, I should have known there is that you have to, uh, you have to create these ships, right? Y you have to create these ships, and you have to do all of this stuff, right? You have to basically make yourself a, um, a city, right, from the ground up. So, in the description down below, I do have this. This is the uh, tutorial on basically using this mod. So it goes through everything that you need to know to get mine colonies set up, and as far as like, you know, in-game, creating a supply ship or a supply camp first. Only one of these can be placed per player per world. Like, I mean, it's really cool. It's very, 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 in depth and a very very cool um, a very very cool sort of concept and um, yeah there we go boom Ugh. let's go ahead and place it there oh placing supply camps requires flat ground of at least 16 by okay we can do this everyone I'm gonna go ahead and let's see let's place it here let's try it there nope it's not gonna let me do it let me go ahead and extra an area I think it's cool to get this started off at first basically this is the supply camp and this is what you're gonna start off with either a supply ship or a supply camp I'm gonna do a supply camp because it looks cooler and then from there I will uh, let the wiki handle it my bad on that but basically the first step is getting one of these and as you can see here is what you need to be able to do that. It goes through everything on like getting one of these and all that stuff and how to like find it and all that. It's all covered here in this wiki, which is linked in the description and down below. But nevertheless, let me clear this area out real quick and then I will uh, place this so you guys can really see this mod is working and then we'll be good to go. All right, so here we go, like a cleared area. So now we can go ahead and place this down and uh, place it. There we go. So now we have ourselves a supply camp and we can really get started with our town here. So pretty cool stuff. And as I said, this is linked in the description below. It'll take you directly to this page. However, there are some really cool other, you know, information about tutorials and items and things like that here. But this walks you through everything there. So absolutely incredible. So go check this out in the description down below. I cannot wait to see what everybody's able to do with these, uh, this, uh, you know, mod and everything. I think it's going to be awesome. So, um, yeah. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps you out. Subscribe to the channel. Come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. I feel like I failed here because I didn't know enough about this mod going in, so I do apologize about that. But, you know, the installation process, that was smooth, right? And then I did link out to this for you as well. But uh, my bad. I will be sure to do more research on mods before doing a tutorial on them moving forward. I feel like I messed this one up, everybody. But thank you all so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Enjoy my colonies, and I'm out. Peace.